The war room awaits. You are in the hot seat, controlling it all. Choose a coach who will execute the game plan. Draft a roster of some of the premier NFL stars of today, and possibly even yesterday. Ah, a great pick here. Take them to the field, where you'll put it all on the line. Dropping back to pass once again. Winston's airing it out. What an effort and a touchdown. Your strategy, your draft, your championship. This is Draft Champions. Hey, what's happening, guys? Clickwood here, bringing you guys the very first NFL Draft Champions from Madden 16 Ultimate Team. Dude, I am super excited about this. I have not had the opportunity to play this game mode yet. Uh, Chase plays Madden, if you guys know him, did draft me a team when he had the game a little bit early. But this is my first opportunity to actually draft my own team. So what I'm going to do is start off with the solo draft so I can play against the computer gauntlet. Try that out first. And then eventually, I promise, guys, we'll get into the head-to-head -head as well. But without any further ado, let's hop into the draft. Before we do that, though, our first order of business is to select the man to lead your squad, the head coach. Keep in mind that the person you select will bring with him both the playbook and the style of play that he favors as a real NFL coach. So I really wish one of these coaches had zone defense because that's what I prefer to run on defense. But I decided to go with the New England coach just because they have long pass. So that's what we're going to try and do here. All right, now that you've got your first player, be sure to keep an eye on your team's overall rating. It'll range up and down during the selection process, but your first pick was definitely a step in the right direction. So we've got our first really tough decision to make here, guys. Uh, this is always a difficult one when you're looking at three elite players, all of them at positions that are very, very important for your team. But the reason that I'm thinking that I'm going to go with Vontae Davis here is, is because I know for a fact that cornerbacks are very difficult to come by. Good cornerbacks are very difficult to come by. He's only five foot eleven, so that's a little bit of a negative, and he's only 87 speed. But you look at the man, then you look at the zone, and you look at the press, and Vontae Davis is going to be a beast for me. So I think I'm going to go with him here. Let's see what we get here in the second round here. And we get, okay, we have a chance. Well, we got to go with RG3, man, don't we? I mean, I'm not a huge fan of RG3, but the speed along with the throw power, the throw accuracy is freaking ass, though. Oh, my goodness. Look how bad that looks. Holy crap. I'm, I, I don't really like getting linemen, at least not early. I mean, once we've shored up the major positions, then I think maybe we can do that. But I think we got to go with RG3 here. We have the opportunity to get an elite scrambling quarterback. I mean, you know, it's not Russell Wilson or anything like that or, uh, you, know, you know, a legend or anything. But I think uh, I think we got to go with RG3 here. Does this pick fill a big need? We can't go with Brandon Whedon out there, man. It's going to be too rough. All right, here we go. CJ Spiller has got to be our pick here too, doesn't he? Super speed, very agile. That's really good for my type of offense that I like to run. Uh, so I think we're probably going to go with him. Ryan Clady's got good attributes too. I don't want to completely neglect the offensive line, but we're able to get these speedy players, and I think that that's probably going to be a good decision for us. Hopefully we don't end up like having to turn down freaking Ladanian Tomlinson or something like that. All right, so we've got wide receiver options here. So this player, obviously, Kendall Wright here, is going to match one of our players or our team styles. Or no, excuse me. It looks like Jonathan Stewart does, I think. Yeah, long pass. Okay. So um, I could go with him, but that's kind of stupid considering we just got C.J. Spiller. And I think C.J. Spiller is more effective for me anyway. I actually really like to pass to my tight end. So I think I'm probably actually going to go with Greg Olson here. And that would give us also another elite or a ruby player. And this team there we go. A lot of needs, but this guy is a legitimate star. What and else we got here? Oh, Cromarty, dude. If we pair Cromarty up with Vontae Davis, I think we're going to be in a really good shape. I hate to, I really hate to go away from all these linemen. Brandon Spikes is too, way too slow to play middle linebacker for me. We've got to try and find someone faster than that. Uh, it's, it's between Dwayne Brown and Antonio Cromarty. I, I love Antonio Cromarty though. The speed just isn't very good for him right now, but man, he's six foot two. That's so hard to, to come by. And if I get matched up against like a Herman Moore or something like that, got to have somebody that can swat that ball away. So I'm going to go with Antonio Cromarty. 
What else we got here? All right, so now we have an opportunity. Yeah, we got to go with Levante David here. So we already have a quarterback. We don't need that. Defensive end would be nice, and especially considering that he does go with our chemistry with the run stuff, Ezekiel Ansah. But, man, Levante David has got some crazy attributes, dude. He's super quick with the 85 speed, great pursuit, great play recognition. He's going to be a player that I don't really have to think about, so I think we got to go with him. What else we got here? Come on. All right, so now we're getting some linemen. Good. All right. So we've got two Packers linemen here, the right guard or the left guard. Um, I think we're probably going to go with the left, I guess, because that's going to give us our team chemistry here. We're going to go with Josh Sitton. TJ Lang is also a possibility, but, you know, they're pretty similar to one another, it looks like. A um, little bit better pass blocking from Sitton, a little bit better run blocking from TJ Lang. But I think we got to go with Sitton for that long pass chemistry. we got to get ourselves a wide receiver at some point here. No, we lost out on Cam Newton. Oh, I would have loved to have used Cam Newton. That sucks. That really sucks. But uh, at the same time, though, we've already locked up quarterback. I think we're, we're okay at with RG3. We could be a lot worse. Um, and I think we got to go with Jairus Bird here, man. Got it. We're going to have a good secondary, it, it seems like. We're going to have Cromartie, Vontae Davis, and Jarris Bird. So that could be a lot worse. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. What else we got here? Miles Austin, Jake Long. Eh. Dude, I don't really want to go with Miles Austin. Like, Miles Austin's kind of meh. Jake Long, great strength. Decent attributes here. I think I'm going to go with Jake Long. And I know this sounds crazy stupid probably but because we still don't have a wide receiver but we still got five rounds left to try and pull a better wide receiver hopefully we can get at least one playmaker at wide receiver i just don't think miles austin's gonna be it you know so let's go with uh let's let's at least shore up that left side of the offensive line all right so we have a chance with eric berry here we could match him up with um who do we get there at strong safety. I forget off the top of my head right now, but I know we had a good... Uh, oh, it's Jarius Bird. That's right. Oh, we got Honey Badger at free safety. That kind of sucks. I know Ryan915 would love to use Tyron Matthew, but I think we're going to go with Eric Berry here. Again, we already have two good cornerbacks, so I'm not really super worried about getting a third, and I do think that we want to have that superstar secondary, so we've got a six-foot-tall safety here with Eric Berry, along with two pretty damn beastly corners. Hopefully, we don't get freaking mossed on the entire game like we have been in uh, some of our other games. All right, here we've got another opportunity here to get some good defensive players. Junior Gallette playing left outside linebacker. That would be a decent pickup, I think, but we still haven't really done anything for our defensive line yet. Our defensive line is looking real bad. All 70s or 72s. Oh, that's pretty bad. So uh, I think we probably need to go with a pass rusher here. Charles Johnson, Gerald McCoy. Gerald McCoy is definitely one of the best defensive tackles that you can get. Ah, uh, what do I want to do here? I don't know. Um... This is a tough one. This is a really tough one. I think if I was playing, if I was doing this against in head-to-head -head seasons, like if I was playing against somebody, uh, an actual other user, I would probably go with Charles Johnson. But I think I'm actually going to go with Gerald McCoy here because I think the computer is more likely to run the ball up the middle, and also I can tend to get some pressure with him. Hopefully, if the if the uh, computer quarterback holds onto the ball, so we're going to go with Gerald McCoy. Not a bad lineup here that we're putting together, I don't think. Oh, damn. So we had an opportunity to get Andrew Whitworth here, and that would be a nice upgrade from Jake Long, I think. But we can't really do that, I think, because we, we did go with the gold card with Jake Long, so that would be a kind of a wasted pick. Uh, we could go with Gates, but we've already got Greg Olson, and Greg Olson's better, so we're not going to do that. I think we got to go with Julian Edelman. I don't love Julian Edelman, but he's going to be able to run great routes for us, so hopefully he can do something underneath at least, and hopefully in these final three rounds we can actually get something that's going to give us a little bit of a deep threat of some sort here. And we got nothing here in this one. Justin Durant's a decent player, though, at right outside linebacker. Unfortunately, we already have a right outside linebacker. Um, Michael Johnson's nice and quick, and he's got decent finesse move. We might have to do that. Oh, no. I have to have somebody that I can use her in the middle, I think. Actually, now that I think about it. I think i got to go with Daryl Washington. 85 speed. He's got decent attributes at pretty much everything. So, uh, awareness is low, but that's okay because I'll be user controlling him most plays. I tend to prefer to, to use her the middle linebacker, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Daryl Washington's going to be our pick there. Okay, now we've got some options here. We got Matt Forte, which I'm not going to go with him, and I'm not going to go with Jason Witten because we've already got a good tight end, and we've already got, well, I don't know. Matt Forte is obviously a big upgrade from C.J. Spiller. I don't think we can really even deny that. 
I mean, well, actually, look at that speed. Six speed faster and four acceleration better. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I might rather have CJ Spiller for my type of play style. Obviously, the trucking is way in Matt Forte's favor. I'm sure the strength and all that kind of stuff is as well. But, man, that's crazy. If I need somebody to run short, though, I think I might go out there and put Kristen Michael out there. I didn't even realize that we had him. So we still have somebody that can go short yardage if we need to in Kristen Michael. So we got kind of a smash and dash here with Kristen Michael and C.J. Spiller. So let's go with C.J. Spiller as our running back. And I think we're going to go with Mikey Potty. Um, hopefully, I don't really know how this whole thing works. This is my first time playing this. Hopefully, we can take Mikey Potty and put him at right guard because uh, we already have a left guard right now. So pretty much all these positions are ones that we've already filled with decent players. Matt Forte would probably be the most obvious upgrade. I'm not really sure that Jason Witten's a huge upgrade over Greg Olson. Yeah, not really. 76 speed. I, I'm not a huge fan of that. The run blocking is substantially worse as well. He's got way better catching and better route running and better catching traffic. But I think Greg Olson's going to be a better weapon for me. I got, I'm just going to go with you potty and just hope that we can change the depth chart within, within the game. I'm not really sure that we can. Well, we'll have to figure that out, I guess, you know? All right, so the final one. Here we go. We've got our, an opportunity here to uh, make some serious upgrades here to the unit. Obviously, our safeties, I think, are pretty well in check right now. I think we've got good players at safety uh, with Eric Berry playing the strong safety and Jarris Bird playing the free. So, man, I would love to use Rod Woodson right now. I really would. Um, Steve Hutchinson, we've already got two really good left guards, so we're not going to go with him. Ty Law would be a nice third corner. That would give us an absolutely ridiculous secondary. We'd have Jairus Bird, Vontae Davis, Antonio Cromartie, Ty Law, and Eric Berry. I think that's what we're going to do. So basically, we're, we had no opportunities to get a good receiver here. Julian Edelman is our only real threat as far as at wide receiver position whatsoever. So we're going to have to do some dink and dunk type of offense. Maybe we can get CJ Spiller deep from time to time. But I think this is going to be an interesting team given the fact that I have a long pass chemistry and I don't really have any players that can go deep. So this is going to be an interesting one, guys. We're going with Ty Law. Wish me some luck here as we continue to go. Uh, but that is going to be the unit, guys, as we put together our first draft champions team. Pretty decent, 80 overall, 79 offense, 81 defense. It could be better, obviously, but I think it's pretty decent. Let's get us, let's get started here running our championship, and let's see if we can go in here and adjust our lineup just a little bit. Let's see what we can do. All right, so it automatically did that for us. That's actually pretty nice that it does that for you. So we have decent guards. Uh, our center is a train wreck, but what are you going to do? You wouldn't really draft a center, I don't think, most in most cases. Um, let's see here. Just ass at wide receiver. This is going to be bad, man. It's going to be really bad. But I, I like CJ Spiller. I think Brandon or uh, RG3 is going to be good for us. Julian Edelman, we'll see what we can do with him. I'm, I'm not too excited. We don't really have anybody that can do aggressive catching other than maybe Greg Olson can. Maybe Greg Olson can. He's nice and big and physical, so maybe we can do that with him. Uh, defensively, I feel very confident in this unit, man. I think we, we loaded up here on defense. We got Jairus Bird and Eric Berry manning the safety positions. We've got Vontae Davis and Ty Law on the outside. We've got Cromartie on the inside, Antonio Cromartie. And then we've got Gerald McCoy on the defensive line as well. So, uh, pretty decent. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I think that we'll do pretty well. So, wish me luck, guys. I want to hear what your comments are. Would you have made some different decisions than me? I'm really interested to hear. Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Madden 16 content. I almost caught myself saying Madden 15 there, but yeah, we're on Madden 16 now. Finally, finally, if you guys know the story behind all the, the reason that I haven't been able to upload anything yet, man, it's frustrating, but what are you going to do? We're finally here and there's no more complaints coming from me as far as that stuff goes. I'm excited to be on Madden 16 and I'm excited to get started playing this new game mode. So hopefully you guys will enjoy all of the videos that we're going to be putting out here over the next couple of weeks. If you do, do me a favor, hit that like button and of course... Give me some support, man. Press that subscribe button if you would. That's really how we grow this channel. It's how you get notifications when I go live uh, on, uh, on uh, Twitch as well and also when my videos go live as well. So thank you guys so much for all the support. Talk to you again soon, and good luck with your own drafts. Bye-bye, guys.